What's up, guys? Tiny Dog here, and welcome to a new episode of Oblivion Fun. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna explore another dungeon. But first, I wanted to show you what I meant with you want to, you know, sell the arrows individually. Um, I went to the Imperial City Market District, and I went into Coin Purse. Uh, what's this place called? The Copious Coin Purse, and I talked to my little elf buddy here. What kind of deal can I make for you today? And he's going to make me... Can I interest too. you in some of my wares? Um, so, I want to sell my iron arrows. I got 89 of these damn things, okay? Uh, so, well, first I'll just sell stuff that I'm never going to use, like this. But... That seat. Let's see if I can get a skill up here. Not sure though. Come on, give me up. All right, so there you go. My mercantile skill increased. So it increases with each thing that you sell. So as you can see, I have like all these restore fatigue um, potions that I'm never gonna use. And um, so what I want to do is I want to sell them one by one. So when you get up to like some, like you see, I got six of them. And it says how many, you don't sell them all at once. You go and you sell them once. One, and you sell them one by one. And this is what I'll be doing. You got everything. a great deal there. So, that seems a fair price. Basically, the good thing about arrows and why I keep them is that I can do this 89 times. And that's what I'm gonna do. So, see, I'll just go one by one, sell each one, and um, another satisfied customer. Oh my gosh! Be quiet. All right. So let's look at um, my Good. mercantile skill. It's at level six. So I'm gonna sell all those arrows one by one, and we'll see where my mercantile skills at. So, be right back. All right, so I made, uh, let's see, about four trips back and forth to that first dungeon that we did. And just picked up everything I could from weapons to shields to armor to um, ingredients to make potions, which I made a lot, a lot of potions. And I had, uh, I forgot how much money I had, but it wasn't a lot. And now, if we take a look-see... We are at 1,100 gold, and this is just from the first dungeon, okay? And um, we, let's look at our mercantile skill. So our mercantile skill, first of all, our alchemy is up to 44 now. But our, um, our mercantile skill was at 6. Well, it's actually, you start the game off, it's at 5. So... It's five, it was five, and now. It's at 16. So we got 10 levels of mercantile skill from one dungeon. And it's the first dungeon that you you can go to in a game. So we're still level one. Um, I think, I'm, I'm not sure, I didn't see any, I need to meditate. So I might be like one skill up away from level, but I'm not sure. But. We're still level one, and we just the only place we visited was this dungeon here, Vil Vilverin. And that's right across from the sewers where you get out. And we already have 1100 gold, and we have um, a lot of skill ups on up, especially our mercantile, which is going to help us with prices. So, why do we want what all this? What kind money of deal can Because you need to put this Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something course, to suit you. Um, you're going to want to buy, if you needed armor, these are all like the stuff I sold, so yeah, there's a ton of them. If you need armor, you can now you can buy armor, it's very cheap. Um, but for me, I need, I could buy, like, I can buy these ingredients, but these ingredients you can find anywhere. I need to, oh, I've also got this bound, this tome, which uh, has random chance to drop around the world and that's part of the add-on the spell tomes but I need to buy repair hammers that's the most important thing and I'm gonna try to haggle them um, 
He's not really on my good side, but. Wow, look at this jerk. 168%. So I'm going to buy some repair hammers. I guess I'll take uh, a six is fine. Yeah, 100 gold. Okay, so definitely needed that. Thank you. Come again. And um, have a so, look yeah, at my so wares. Goodbye, please. I guess that just to show you how um, you should pretty much, you know, sell whatever you can pick up, you know, go. Remember, you can always fast travel back to the place. Come again. And um, Take whatever you couldn't grab. I mean, there's still tons of stuff in there. There's like you a lot of weapons ears. are heavy, so I didn't carry them. I'd rather carry like 10 items opposed to one item. And I'll get more money anyway carrying 10 items. So, but I got a, you know, a thousand gold is a good way to start off. Um, and now we're going to travel to our second dungeon, which is right outside um, the sewer where we got out of. We just go down here. Haha, <laughs> love doing that. Okay, get my crab meat. Sideways cave, here we are. Ooh, looks like a little. Cold. Whoa, what did he just hit me with? Imps, yeah, so drops that, which is good. And here we are, sideways cave. So this is going to be our second <clears throat> cave. I guess it's not a dungeon. I'll call this a cave. And this is perfect for uh, newbie characters because, number one, we're going to go versus a different kind of mob here. We're going to go versus the imps. Pretty easy to kill, actually. And also... There's a chance we can get some cool uh, items. So, I think someone just shot at me, but. Oh, there you are. Can you come down? Oh, you keep You're cute. What are you with? Whatever. Alright, so let's explore this dungeon. Let's see what we can get in here. Whoa. Whoa! What was that? Well, if I was anywhere near that, I would have died. Okay, so it looks like nymphs are gonna be our. Enemy of choice today. I'll just. I'm, I'm using a combination of both. Um. Destruction and sword because I want do not want to slack on my sword. What do we got here? What's this? Potion of healing. Okay, I'll take that. Um I'm not gonna take any of this stuff because after I clear the dungeon then I'll just come back and take everything. But I'm gonna see what Ah, bad shot. Now you want to shoot magic, huh? Whoa, what's that? Secret door. Okay. I'll mess with the secret door. Just takes to the hidden lake. Let's go in the hidden lake. I think this place, this cave has three zones. Three different levels or whatever you want to call it. So. Gotta explore everyone. Without dying. Of course, you should probably make saves from time to time. I kind of rely on my own saves. Not a good thing. All right. Yeah, I think I've ca I think I got enough to rest. I'm not sure why it's not telling me I want to rest. No, I don't really care. Right now, we're just trying to explore and get some. Items. That's all I really care about right now, because we're going to get 
plenty of money. There's plenty of ways to skill up later on in the game. Right now, I just want to get our feet wet since we're kind of new. And, um... Let's see what we can find. Um, oh yeah, so I always carry these things. They're always in the dungeons, in the L whatever the dungeons, the dungeons we were just in, in the first episode. These things, the Wakeland stones. Oh. It gives you full magic. Since I do not regenerate magic, this is the way to go. Not, not treasure here. Whoa, so we got our enchanted ring. Looks like frost 7% on self, so. That's our first enchanted piece of armor. Not bad, right? Not bad. Let's see. Uh, that's armor. I'll take that. Oh, I got these blue shoes off a of conjurer that respawned after I kept visiting that first dungeon. Look at those blue shoes. Pimp. You know what? I'll leave my wrist irons on. Alright, so it looks like I got a frost shield. In case someone wants to shoot some frost at me. It's only 7%, so I could actually take that ring. What's this? What we, uh... There's no escape. Ah, you see, you always gotta look around the corners. There's always some stuff around. Waiting to be picked. Stuff always hidden somewhere, a little chest or something. Should go into third person and check it. There we go, you see? Is that it? No, it's not. Alright, so let's go in here. Let's pick some ah, The lost echo is something or another. Bone meal. What's this? Uh, terror of the most terror of Meridia. Oh boy. A lot of dead bodies. Something must have came through this cave and took a bite out of somebody. A long time ago, too. Whoa. That looks creepy. Take the bone meal. That was a frost, so this my ring helped us out a tiny bit. Okay, where do I want to go? Let's look at our map. Okay. Well, it either can go up or down. Guess we'll go up for now. North. like ridiculous okay so we got some imps over there what's this can I not scared of your little spells dinky ass spells all right imp goals okay what's up here is this the waterfall? No. This is a tree. It's a happy little tree. Oh, I like skill ups, man. I just love them. Whoa, what's your problem, little guy? Don't run away. Scaredy cat. Mmm, what's this? I. Oh boy. I have a bad feeling about this. I should Oh, okay. Throne room.
Oh, dead body. Ah, that's easy. What do we have here? Ooh, daggers. Let's take all that. Oh yeah, this is one. Oh, new outfit. Oh. Galarin the Mystic. Okay, let's see a hasty translation. Meridia, terror the most terror. Can't can't live it. Whoa, what do we have here? Look at this. Robe of the Glib Tongues. All right, so we got something that'll help us out when we have to charm somebody or talk to them. Uh, what's this? Damage, health, untouch. Oh, we got another spell tone. Wow, that was boss. And of course, 11. Go open the other one. All right, so that's, that's pretty awesome, guys. Um... Let's equip our new digs. I was, I was liking the black. I might keep it. But now I look like a chick. Um, <laughs> hey, I look, I look like that. Why you made shoes? Look at those shoes. Those are bad. I think we're going with the blue suede shoes. Nah, we'll go with... Oh, new outfit. I could just wear this. Whoa. Yeah, there we go. That looks good. There's our character in all her glory. I'll even put on some of this rings and stuff just to look cool. All right. So, I'm... Um... So, so far, so good. We made out pretty, pretty good. Um, I think we can go back. Uh, I'm not sure. If, you know what? We'll just press on. If it's an exit, then we'll go back and take care of some other stuff. So, the scholar's dead. Which sucks for him. What's this? Hidden like. Alright, so that's the exit. Let's go back and... What is that? Oh, a shovel. When I'm worrying about decorating my house, I'll get a shovel. But for now, I don't need it. Alright, look at our character. She's looking rather spiffy for a mage. Um, okay, so we went in the hidden entrance. Now, let's see what's up here. Whoa! Spells do not. Okay, give me my imp. Gal. Okay, that's cool. Oh, what room is this? Let's see. Oh, so it looks like we did explore everything. And that's the exit. Okay. I want to see what's this. What's the skeleton? Nah, it's not really good. But either way. got some really good items and um, that's and we're just started we're just you know we haven't even done anything with the main quest we haven't even gone past got off the island that we first got on so you know we already have um, some good items that are worth money that we can sell. And we got a bitching new look. Look at this. This look. It's, it's, it's awesome. Just gonna look around, make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, so let's see if I can level up. Alright, yes. We're now level 2, so uh, since I'm a magey character, I'm going to bring up my intelligence. Okay. How many? Three average tributes, okay. Uh, we're going to do willpower. And let's see, strength does how much? 
We can carry. Oh, do I want to look how much my health gets raised? So, oh, okay. I see what I, I got here. I can go four. And then only two on willpower. Okay. So either willpower or endurance. You know what? I'm going to go with willpower for now. Even though ugh, such a tough decision because I want to have more health. But you know what? I'm going to go with power because then I can just heal myself. So level two. We did it. Not bad. Oh my god, this game better not froze on me. There we go. Scary moment there. Okay, so let's check out the stats, man. Level two. I look like a proper mage. Now I need a, I need a cool headpiece at least. For my sword. Um Oh yeah, I some stupid zombie gave me a disease. I gotta clean that up somewhere at some temple or something. Make a potion or buy one, but I'm not worried about that. All right, so let's look at our intelligence is up there. So we got more magic now. How can I tell how much magic? All right, so we got 366 already. At this rate, we'll be up to a thousand by the end or something. All right, so restoration. I still need to use some illusion, mysticism, alteration. So conjuration is cool because I can just sit here. And spam this spell right here. Where'd you go? Oh, because yeah, I'm a noob. That's why. There we go. So, like. I could just sit here and spam this. Oh, and I also found, now that my magic is gone, it's no problem. Of course, I wouldn't waste my magic if I had to kill stuff. Alright, so that looks like this thing. So let's get out of here. I want to show you. I found a well that'll fill my mana up. Sense of direction, guys. So now my man is gone. I need to find his um this well that was in the remember the first dungeon? Of course you The first dungeon that we were in there is a well on top that I never even explored until I was picking up all the stuff to sell. found this like well and you can repair you can replenish your mana and it gives you like a bonus of like 50 um magic what do these imp goals do cure paralysis yeah, but you can't use potions when you're paralyzed right that means that pretty dumb. Oh, I didn't explore the whole cave. Darn. We gotta do it. We got to do it, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not worried about my magic because. Whoa, dead treasure hunter. What happened to you, boss? Huh? Nothing? You're dead. And I'm alive. Oh, what do you got? This the cowhide shoes. Ah, you're naked now. Okay, nothing here. Oh, what did the treasure hunter run into? Oh, he ran into Whoa, look at all the skeletons. That is ridiculous. Holy cow. Alright, blades kill up. 
A low loop pin pinata? What they call it nowadays? Bone meal. It's in the corn. More restore fatigue potions, which we'll make a bajillion of. Bone meal. And, no. It's in the sack. Corn. Oh, is that money on the floor? Man. All right. We're going to have to move some stuff here. Get out of here. That's not who I wanted to summon. Oh. Ah, oh, there you go. Give me my gold. It's kind of screwed. Give me my gold. Get out of here. Stupid skeleton pieces. Get away from my money. Ah, come on, can't break. I have to dispose of body. Remember that? It's not the coolest thing. Whoa, that, that scared me. All right, this gold, you know what? It's giving me a headache. What's in the chest? Potion inhaler. Sorry, no, didn't mean to do that to you. Oh, this was the other side. Okay, so this is the exit. Ah! Whoa. Whoa, that was a big drop. Smartest move. Okay, now we're completely out of mana. So, we're gonna have to find a way of getting out of here. Oh, come on. Alright, now we have the power. Alright, so I'm gonna show you this well and then I'll end the episode. <laughs> so, all that stuff. So we're gonna go right to these ruins. Where are the ruins? Ruins over there. Wow, how annoying. World map, world map. There we go. So we're gonna go back to Vilverin, which is where we began our dungeon adventures. And do you see that well up there? That well is like the best thing ever. Nice. There we go. Come on. Let's not be annoying. Okay. Boom. Full mana. And then we get this uh, cool buff. Which is called... Iliad Well. Gives us 50. As you can see on the bottom there. But that's only for a short time. If I was gonna go in this dungeon, I could use it. But it runs out really fast. Nice restoration increase. Okay, so that's it, guys. Two dungeons that are right outside the sewers. We haven't even gone anywhere, and we have some pretty cool items that we can sell. This robe that I'm gonna keep. Um, and we got the ring. So. Next episode, we are going to... I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to keep doing some maybe... Maybe start... Maybe join the Mage's Guild. I don't know. Maybe do an add-on. Wow. Okay. Yeah, maybe do an add-on. That would be cool. Anyways, I'll catch you guys later.